This is my first class for HSRP. HSRP is a Cisco proprietary protocol for uh, gateway redundancy. Uh, gateway meaning how you would get out to uh, another network or to the internet or what have you. Um, the things we're going to go over today, I made a little list here, are show standby brief. You'll see standby uh, pop up a lot in HSRP. Uh, standby IP, we're going to assign a virtual address to both of our edge pieces of equipment that access users can quickly uh, use as their default to get out to what would be R1, my, my internet here. Uh, that should be the same address and I'll show you how that's done quickly. Uh, standby preempt, we'll explain that. Standby priority and standby tracking. What I've used is a, for the interior network, a simple class C um, 10 dot network and for my specific we're using fast ethernet 0, 0 for each of these connections here so I assigned IP addresses to each of those 10.10.10.2 would be edge 1 10.10.10.3 is going to be my edge 2 and 10.4 is going to be my access uh, I can also prove here that I can ping throughout my network to access 1 and to access 2. So what we want to do is first configure the standby group. You need to select a group number. It can be anything that you would like. Um, and I'll show you that here. So we'll start at edge 1 and we'll start with the... it's configured under the interface. So. Zero, zero. Standby. One is my group number. And let's see what options it gives you. So you've got groups from 0 to 255. So we'll start with group 1. Make it easy. We assign an IP address, which I will assign something simple. I'll use the first IP address that we can use in that uh, subnet. And that's as simple as that. Uh, we don't need to use a mask for this. And uh, we're going to assign that same IP address to edge 2 for the standby. Now it has its own IP address. It's still dot 2 for that physical address, but the standby address is dot 1. We also want to configure preempt. Preempt, let me explain that. Let's say on edge 1, either the hardware or the link to the internet or even the link internally is shut down in some way. Um, the users coming out see that 10.1 address as a default. It's sending all its traffic here to Edge 1. Now that this is shut down, we want Edge 2 to take over. Okay? That's the first step. Now what happens when Edge 1 comes back? Do we want Edge 2 to remain as the standby master? Uh, or do we want Edge 1 to reclaim that uh, top dog status. And to do that we would do preempt. So that, that just says edge one went down. If it came back, we want it to be the the master of the, the two. The next one would be a standby. Everything has to be done in that same group. Priority. And if we want edge one to be the priority to begin with, it has to be something more than the default of one hundred. So one fifty will let us know that edge one is in fact the priority. So once we configured that, as we said our great command of show standby brief will show us a few things. So we are in active here. The active is local. The standby is unknown because we haven't configured that yet. And here's our virtual IP address, ten dot ten dot ten dot one and we have a priority of one fifty we're in group one and we're coming off of the physical interface of fast ethernet zero zero so it's given us a great deal of information that's good for when we're troubleshooting as well so a few more things i want to show you is show run int fa zero zero and let's see what we've configured here so it comes up ip address of the physical interface the standby ip Priority is 150, and we have configured preempt. So, 
Okay, now that we have that configured, let's move over to Edge 2. Edge 2 device here. And as you can see, I just have the physical interface configured. So we go under that interface. We start with that same standby group. One IP, that same virtual address. Next we configure standby preempt. And we're going to make this the lower of the two priorities. Where the other one was 150, we will set this for the default 100. Now if you don't configure this command, uh, standby one priority 100, it will automatically give you a default of 100. So we didn't really need that command. So now if we check, it should go through a process. It's speaking now, and then it'll come up to standby. We just saw it go standby. So now we're standby. Uh, the active device is 10.10.10.2, which we said was the edge one. Local, which is our device, is standby, and same virtual IP of the other one. We're in a priority 100, same group as Edge 1, and FA00 is our physical interface. Now, let's do a scenario where we lose access to Edge 1. So, let's get a ping first, and we are pinging that IP address for HSRP. What we want to do is ping 10, let's just go up and uh, repeat 1000 so we get a good amount of pings going and from edge 1 we want to config P, INT FA00 and we're going to shut that interface once we start our pings. Let's see how many pings we drop. So here, shut You'll see we drop two, we drop one packet, and then we continue on. So picture that you're a user on this access device. Let's say that's a switch, or it could be a router, or or what have you, and you're going out to the internet across your default IP address of 10.10.10.1. This device crashes, or just comes down. The interface comes down. It automatically pings up, picks up, and assigns all users to this other device which has that standby IP address of that virtual 10.10.10.1 okay now let's examine what happens in both of the edge devices so we shut down that interface and we show standby brief we see that we're in the init state active is unknown standby is unknown because we're not active in the HSRP at this time. Now, Edge 2 here shows standby brief. We become the active. Standby is unknown because we don't have physical connectivity to this piece of equipment anymore that is gone with a priority of 100. Now, let's see what happens when we bring back. If our preempt is correct, once this device edge one comes back online it should take that active uh, association from edge two and become the top dog so oops no shut we'll let that process and it should go through the stages of HSRP to come up to an active state so it's already become active okay so edge one is now active again because it's priority 150 and it's preempt shows that 10.3 is standby again everything is back to normal and next we'll go into standby tracking <clears throat> okay to start with the tracking command with HSRP. We want to understand that the virtual IP address within the edge one will be um, contingent upon whether this serial interface going out to the internet is stable, active, up or down. So to do that, we want to get under that 
Remember we configured interface fast ethernet 00 for the standby. We're going into the same standby group. Uh, standby 1. Track is the command. We want to tell it what interface to track. That's just keeping uh, track of. And we want to set a decrement value. That's going to decrement the priority. Remember we set edge 1 to a priority of 150. So in order to make it lower than edge 2, so that edge 2 picks up the priority or the HSRP virtual IP address, we want to set it to something greater than 50. Because 150 minus 51 will make it 99. And then edge 2 with a default of 100 will pick up HSRP. 51. Okay. So we've set that command. And now let's see what happens when we drop. Oh, let's do something else first. Let us debug standby events to see what happens. HSRP event debugging is on. We'll go back in and we'll shut that interface. And let's see what happens. See what we're getting here? Okay. And let's end. And let's you all. Oops. Ah, don't do that. Okay, so I am stopping all debug output, but when we look at this here, once we shut that command, da -da 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 -da, track one, object change, state up to down, priority went from 150 to 99, and then it went through its was local, the standby was local. Standby router is unknown, was 10.10.10.3. We went from active to speak. Uh, and then follow this down. The standby timer expired. Standby router is now local. So if we show standby brief, we see that Local is now standby. The active is 10.10.10.3. And if we go over to access edge 2, I'm sorry, edge 2, standby brief, we see that prior to 100 is now greater than 99. So this is the active. And if we want to undo that, let's say that the serial interface comes back up. we will take over we see the output of both devices here show standby brief we're back to 150 because it released that tracking of 51 that was decremented and now we go back to an active state and everything is great so that is the end of my HSRP configuration let me just show you again where I've configured it. We have the standby one, group one, IP address here, with a priority of 150. He will be the top one, unless we configured edge two for a higher priority, then 150 is top. Preempt just says that uh, once we come back online, if everything is great and our track interface of 000 is up and running, we will take over again. Uh, we take the baton from edge two. And that is the end of the class. Thank you.